I once heard <laughs> that you can tell the price of champagne by the sound it makes. But the question is, which sound is more expensive? <laughs> You're if it's like going ka-ching, 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 then you know it's really fucking expensive. <laughs> Justin Chapel, welcome to this crazy game we play with wine, which is called Sip, Savor, Spit. You are our mad genius at food and wine. I am. Known you I for am. how many years have I known you? I think like 10. 10 years. Yeah, it's 10 kind years. Of crazy. Here. And we've had a lot of wine together. We have had a ton of wine together. But never like But in not this like format. not in this format. So this so, is true. so this is this is a game. This is called Sip, Savor, Spit. Obviously it's blind, you don't know what these wines are. What you have to do, you don't have to identify them, you don't have to figure out what they are, you don't have to do anything except decide which one you would take as your kind of everyday, average drinking, you know, sort of like it, it's cool. That's My your, house wine. Your house wine, yeah. that's your okay. sip wine. One that you think is just utterly fantastic, that's your savor wine. And then the third one is kind of the loser of the situation, that's the one you would spit. Or um, gift, re-gift. Or re-gift, because Better these gift. are all sparkling wines for the holidays. Sparkling wine <laughs> is the ultimate re-giftable wine. So with that, I think we should get started. I would love you nothing know, more than that. There's nothing like sparkling wine when it's cold <laughs> outside. We're gonna hope these wines are cold enough because <laughs> if they aren't, they're gonna spray all over either you or me. This would not be the first time someone sprayed me with champagne. And I'm going to hide the little wire cage there because it will give away the nature of the wine. But you should uh, save the wire cages because you can make little figurines out of them. Yes, you can. You can make little horses, little, do you know how to do that? No, Okay. if you remember, we had a coworker once. We did, who made lots of little animals, lots little, of little, little horses animals and little panda bears. And Well, one trick about pouring, you know this, right? You pour like so. an ounce into each glass or just a little bit. That means that when you come back to pour the rest, it doesn't foam, foam up over the Oh my gosh, I yeah. never knew that. That's, you know, years, years of hanging out with me and you don't know this. So this is wine number one. This Cheers. is all we get? This, well, I mean, we're gonna go through three wines. Again, I will reiterate, this is all we get. Okay, I'm looking it's, with my eye. Does it my have good bubbles? Eye. It has bubbles, so Excellent. this is definitely a sparkling wine. It is a sparkling wine. This does yeah. not mean it's champagne. Champagne only comes from champagne in France. Right. Um, sparkling wine, sparkling wine. the massive category of sparkling wine could be Prosecco, could be Cava from Spain, could be Champagne from France. It's quite nice. It's very dry. So you drink this? I would definitely drink I, I don't quite know if it's my sip saver or spit. Right. Because for all I know, the others could be better. This could be a spitter. It could but be. I don't know. You don't know yet. I have. You don't know. That's, that's the nature of the game. This, this is, is very this is complicated. Crafted. Okay, we're gonna finish this one. Okay, time for wine number two. Let's do it, Ray. That's it was much more quiet than the first one. Now the average bottle of sparkling wine has the same pressure as a car tire, which is why you don't point corks at people. Ooh. <laughs> I shouldn't be blindfolded because automatically I'm like, ooh, pink wine. Wine number two. Okay. Smells a little fruitier already. What's the difference over wine? Yeah, it's very different. <laughs> is that a it's is not, that a good difference? It's not <laughs> quite as sippable, I don't think. Yeah. Let me try it again. I'll still drink it. Don't get me wrong. I'll still drink it. Much less fizz. Much softer much less, fizz. Yeah, it's much softer. It's not mm -hmm. filling my mouth like the first one did. And it looks a little wetter. Is By that the way. what is that? Like, I don't know how to describe this. It looks wetter. <laughs> Justin, it's a liquid. They're equal, all equally wet. <laughs> <laughs> but this um, one's like wetting the glass. Watch, I'm gonna drink this, and then I'm gonna pull it away, and you're gonna see that it like fizzes all over the side of the yeah, glass. Watch. I'm watching. Yes. You see that? You're right. Yeah. What it does that mean? That, well, I think it means that. Can someone get a scientist? Please, someone get us a scientist. <laughs> I only had a banana today. We gotta get you some food. Have a nut. Here. It's a very tasty nut. No, I'm not feeding you a nut, oh. man. That's weird. All right. <laughs> Would you feed me a cracker? I will feed you a cracker. Here, have it's a cracker. It's because it's big. <laughs> Watch the mm. double entendres. Mm, yummy. We should do this okay. more often. Time for wine number three. I'm ready In for our it, sip, apparently. Sip, savor, spit challenge. Um, the bubbles went away much quicker than the last one. They did. Wait, I think we should cheers for this cheers. one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to the holidays. Okay. It's a little funkier. It's a little bit like cheese rind, which is that yes, sort of earthy funky. cheese rind thing, funky. Like, but that, in champagne, that's not that uncommon. I actually really like this one. It's a good wine. It's a it really good wine. It's so it's so crazy because you get like a ton of funk when you smell it, but then it's really clean. So here's a question: favorite song for parties? It's probably "How Will I Know" by Whitney Houston. How will I know if he really, really loves me? I like the fact that you move when you sing. That's, you know, that's important. It's called dancing. It's right? called dancing. Yeah. I, can't, I always forget, I'm from Texas. <laughs> what can I do? Okay, we're at that decision point. 
I have to have your answer. Okay. Sip, savor, spit. I can pour you one of I each. I need one of each. Absolutely. In the meantime, I need a, a little palate cleanser here. Something salty. Actually, it's really just to fill my stomach so I don't get drunk. I think we passed that point, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my three glasses here. I'm gonna drink all of them. I wanna get rid of my spit. Which is your spit? Okay, my spit is the middle. The pink one. The okay. Pink one. It's like there's too much bubble, it's too frothy. I'm gonna reveal oh, what you're- Oh God, is it you're... really expensive? No, it's not. It's okay. a pet gnat. It's a organic, old school kind of sparkling from François Pinon in Loire Valley, but 24 bucks. So is this a natural wine? It is effectively a natural wine. Yes. Wow. But it's a very clean natural wine. It's a very clean natural wine. Yeah. I'm actually very impressed, because that's my spit. Sorry, I have to keep drinking. <laughs> I don't think you should, I mean. This would be my sip wine, mm -hmm. and the reason is because it's much lighter, it's a little yep. drier, and I feel like I could drink more of it. And this is my savor because it's a little bit more like me. Cool. Your Which is sip voluptuous. Wine. Voluptuous. Long legs and it's thicker. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that. Your your sip wine is Bollinger. Oh, I love Bollinger. It's classic champagne. Can't get more classic. Beautiful bottle of wine. You know, sponsor me, Bollinger. Fifty bucks a bottle. <laughs> but your savor wine. This is where I think is really interesting. Your okay. savor wine is the Sokol Blosser Bluebird Cuvée from Oregon. Twenty-four bucks a bottle. Wow. And a new a new wine from them. They just released it, and it's part of this whole new world of Oregon sparkling wines that's going on. It's delicious. Yeah. Ray. <laughs> Happy New Year, Dustin. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm really drunk right now.